Hey, this is Slap Out Lash Girl Melissa, and welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing hair. I found this new curling iron that I think you are going to love. I watched another YouTuber and she used it. She's a hairdresser. Her hair is baby fine like mine. Hers was all one length. Mine is in layers. I'm trying to let mine grow out some. But look at the curls, y'all. These are touchable. This is the best curling iron wand. I don't know what it's, I mean, it is wonderful. And it's unlike any technology that I have ever used on my hair before. And I want to share it with you, my baby fine girl hair friends. I'm telling you, this is going to rock your world. So keep watching and learn how to get this fabulous kind of hair. Okay, so my hair is washed. I went ahead and did my makeup. Yay! <laughs> I did do that. I got me some coffee. How about you? I love my coffee in the morning. Mm. This is the second cup, too. And I have to drink decaffeinated now because of my pacemaker. There's my precious pacemaker right there. I'm living with it. I'm doing it. It's It's been a challenge. It really has. I I don't know exactly where it's going, but you know what? I'm still here. I'm still working. I feel I do feel a lot better. Um, I'm still trying to work with getting my energy back, but hey, it's coming. It's coming, okay? And we, I'm going to show you what I use on my hair. I have baby, baby fine hair, and it is very hard to curl. I do have that new tool I'm going to show you at the end once I get my hair dried, but the things I want to show you that I use, my favorite products, uh, especially when I wash my hair now. I do go to Ulta to get this. You can order it online. It is called Alterna Caviar Anti-Aging um, Hair uh, Shampoo and, and Conditioner. It is fabulous. It replenishes the moisture in your hair. So it nourishes dry hair. So my hair, color treated, um, had COVID back in 2020. My hair has changed so much. It's gotten so thin. It's really hard for me to do my hair now. But however, these two really, really make a difference. Can you see them? I love these and they're the deep purple. Now they have like um, a volumizing one or some other kind. And I've tried those, but I didn't like those on my hair. This is the only ones that I love. I love it. And you use about uh, a nickel size amount to do your hair, depending on how much hair you have. <laughs> I use that amount. These last me a long time and they are a little bit pricey, but I don't use that much of this and I can get like four months out of these two. Okay. So keep that in mind when you're going through Ultra and you're looking at all the different kinds of shampoos. That is my favorite. And of course, I always have Big Sexy Hairspray. I use the spray and play. I don't like to spray and play harder because it is too, too much uh, for me, that one. And um, then I've got to grab, oh, I didn't grab my other stuff, girlfriends. What's wrong with me? Hang on, I'll be right back. Girls, we've had so much going on in our lives here lately, Mark and I. Um, Mark's mom has something called Serva right now. She had a, um, a shot in her arm, which was too high, and now she can't move her shoulder. She had the shingle shot, and that's bad enough that it's the shingle shot, and it does hurt, but now she can't even move her shoulder. So my husband's having to stay over there, coming back and forth. <laughs> me with my face, my, I'm doing good though. I, I'm doing good on my own right now. He doesn't really have to take care of me anymore. He did for a while, but this is one of my favorite things to put on my hair, this this tin. This is the Miracle, it's a leave-in product, the Miracle tin. Now, they do have one with keratin in it. I don't like that one because it does weigh my hair down a little bit more, but this one does not. I love this one. And then there's two Lange products that I totally dig right now. Dig, what'd I say? And, <laughs> and this these two, this one here is called Thicket. I don't use very much of this one at all. So this little bottle lasts me a long time. And then this one is a leave-in conditioner. It's um, called Envy. It's biotin leave-in conditioner. I love it. Now, I only put this on the ends of my hair, okay? So it's not like, but I do put this like all over. I don't spray it on top, but I do spray it all around. Um, I don't really put any conditioner, like when I wash my hair, I wash my hair uh, with that shampoo. And then when I do my conditioner, I put my conditioner like halfway all the way around. I don't put the conditioner at the top 
because it makes a huge difference when I go to dry my hair. Uh, I still need that fullness that up there. So I've changed that up a bit and I do like it better. Now I'm going to take my hair down. I'm going to get it combed out and I'm going to show you how I apply all these products before I dry my hair. Okay. So now this is just kind of towel dried hair and I have come through it. I always come through it first and so that I can get um, all the products on evenly. And so I use, I spray this one first. I do shake it up. This one's almost empty. I'm gonna have to get another one. I cannot remember how much these are. Sometimes you can find them on sale, but basically I just spray across the back of my hair and on the sides here, okay? Just like that. And then I will comb through it. And yeah, you're saying, why do you put the other one on, you know, if you're gonna use that as a leave-in conditioner? Well, this one is an overall. And my ends, y'all, are very, very sparse and thin now. COVID did a number on my hair, and I don't know that my hair will ever be the same. I hope it will maybe one day, but probably not because I'm getting older and hormones and stuff like that have changed. And I do have hypothyroidism, so that contributes to it too. Um, but this leave-in, I love it just on the ends, the very ends of my hair. So you don't use a whole lot. And so this will last you a while too. Now, these are the first launch products that I have tried. I watched a lot of people, you know, they always have people doing uh, this on Facebook and stuff and you see it. You see how much I use? Not much. And I just run it through my fingers and I'll do it like this on my other fingers. And then I just take it and just only do the ends right here. Only, only the ends right here. Now, the other one is called Thicket. Now, Thicket is a cream, and depending on what kind of hair you have, I I don't use much of Thicket either. Now, Thicket is a product that's going to give you some volume, and the only place I use this is right here on top of my head. Um, it really works well. I like it. <laughs> I like it, but it's very thick. Let me just say that, and sometimes, hang on, I'm going to shake it up so I can get most of the product down here in the bottom. If it'll work, there it goes because it will come out very quickly. So you have to be careful with how much you get out or you'll waste some product. So watch, I'm just gonna get, um, that is enough, you see that? I don't wanna weigh my hair down. Take your fingers, and then the only place I put this is like right here at the roots. I just run it through my roots right here at the top. Yeah, you have to close your eyes to do this. <laughs> Yes, you do. Now, I am going to add just a bit in my crown. I have um, a flat spot, a lot of us do, and I'll take just a tiny bit more, and I'm going to come in that flat spot right here in the back of my head, okay? So, that's going to give me more lift and volume in that area, but I do use uh, Velcro rollers um, at the end after I dry my hair. So it is a process doing my hair. If you have really thick, great hair, oh my gosh, I just wish I did, but I don't. So I'm gonna start off showing you how I dry my hair, but I'm not gonna dry all of my hair completely with you. Um, I'm just gonna give you just a little sample of what I do, because somebody asked me, how do I get uh, the fullness? So I'm gonna start on this side. I have my baby blitz. I love this, I got it at Ulta too. I love this thing, it's so lightweight. And I do need, you, do, you are going to need a few things. A comb like this. You're going to need a pick at the end. You don't use this while you dry your hair. But this is what I use to dry my hair. It's just a Conair. You can go to Wally World and get this. It does have a metal piece in the center. And that helps. Now, this has a high setting, a low setting on the, um, the speed. So high down here. And then low, I use it on low. I don't use the high setting. Now, when it comes to the heat part, I only use it, uh, I use it on high because I want the heat and then I'm going to use this cool shot button to cool it off. And that's how you can get full volume while you're drying your hair, okay? And this is towel dried hair. So let me start on this side. And I do hold the dryer in my left hand because I am right at it. And so what I typically will do, I always start on this side for some reason. And I take some of my hair and just kind of push it back over and get it out of the way, just like that and then comb down what you want. There you go. So see, now I have all of this that I want to dry. So what I'm gonna do is cut it on on low. That's the low setting. And I take this, and basically, I'm just gonna hold it here. I hold it, 
and just let the dryer do its thing. Let it go through, kind of dry. And then I hit that little cool shot button and it cools it off. The reason I do that is because if you don't, the heat will dry your hair, but the cool shot will curl your hair. <laughs> it does. And I have baby fun hair and it's just horrible. And you can you know, like pull it out if you want to, get up here, dry the parts there, and then come underneath, come around, and then hit that cool shot. Hit the cool shot, right underneath there. And then watch, and then bring it down. And look at that, you see how it does? So this is, and you see the volume that I'm getting. Let me get one more spot here so you can kind of see. I won't grab all of it, we'll just grab a part of it. Because you can work it in sections, which is what you need to do with your hair anyway. Work it in sections. Push the cool shot. Can you close your eyes when you dry your hair? I don't know why I do that, but I do. All right, there's the cool shot. Hold it for a second, and then let it go. You see what it's doing? It's building volume. So for your baby fine hair, you're going to want this. But you see how smooth the ends are? That is that conditioner. So it don't have those little flyaway spray type hair. So... I'm going to dry the rest of my hair. Let me turn that off. I'm going to dry the rest of my hair off camera, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I just finished blow drying. Look how much volume this hair has. Look at the ends. They don't look so frayed anymore. That they, they look thicker. So I'm telling you, these products are fabulous, and you need to try them. But we are going to curl my hair today because that's the whole purpose of this. Now, this is typically what I would do. Um... On any given day, I would just blow my hair dry and I would spray this and I'd fluff it all up with my fingers. And the one cool thing is if you blow your hair one direction and maybe you don't have enough lift or maybe you think, ah, oh, this is just looking still kind of flat. Well, what you can do is take your hair and comb it the other way, the opposite direction. Now, I do this a lot and you can definitely get more volume. Do you see that? I do this all the time, and then I will spray it and use my pick, but do you see how pretty that is? It's coming back over this way. It's just, I love it. I love it, and I do this quite a bit, quite a bit. It just looks fuller and thicker when I do it this way, but today I want to show you how I get some volume on top. If I really need some extra volume uh, other than this, like when I go to work, this is typically what I look like when I go to work, okay? So I'm going to comb it back the way I had dried it. Because typically, I'm, I'm always going to dry it in this direction. Always. And then you can comb it back the other way. Now, I am going to use some, not sponge rollers, but I am going to use some Velcro rollers. I love these. These are my favorite. I bought these off of Amazon. And they're large rollers. They're medium rollers. It comes as a whole set. So, I should have the links down and I'll put it down there. But these have metal inside them. So, if you need some extra volume... You can always take your hair dryer after putting these in and do the same thing like I did with this, um, the round brush. I don't know where I put it. And But what I do, I have a flat spot right there. So that's where I'm going to grab hair. And I'm going to take this. And this is the one reason I really wanted the Velcro rollers was for that reason there. That flat spot. I don't know if I sat too long before I was born. I don't know why I have a flat spot. <laughs> But I do. And so you then you can take a little bit of the top here. And we're going to do the same thing. And now I'm not going to do my bangs. I'm going to leave my bangs like they are. I'll leave them there. That way, whichever way it's going to look good, whether it's going this direction or that direction, I can come. I can just get it going in the way I want to without, you know, manipulating it too much. Now here in the back, I have some really thin hair here. And so what I will do here... Is take two of these, put one here, right there, and then one at the bottom. Because my hair seems to be a little thinner back here. Now, I have thought about getting it cut, you know, up a little bit into the neckline, but I really don't want to do that. I, I really like to be able to wear my ponytails, and when I go to pull this around, I can get a little small ponytail over here, and it just works out great for me. I like my Googler hair, my Remy hair. I'll put a link. There's a link there for that, too. Love it. It comes in lots of different colors. It's a halo. It's got the little 
uh, string that comes around here that you can't see. And then everything else is clipped underneath your own hair and it gets long. I love it, love it, love it. Now, we are going to spray this in just a second. I got two smaller ones. These are not large ones because these are the medium size. So if you really need some more volume, maybe your hair's really super baby fun. I have been doing collagen lately too. Um, Unique has some collagen and it's marine collagen. It's like really great. I've been using it for a while now. Uh, you just take this off and you just drink it on the go. You put it in your purse or whatever and take it with you. Once a day, you use this. I can see a difference in my skin. I can see a difference in my skin on my face. Um, it does. My skin's looking so much better, so much more healthier than it was. And I've been on it for about three months, four months, something like that. Okay. And I can link that below if you'd like to try it. There we go. Ta-da! Now, Big Sexy comes in. I gotta go buy some Big Sexy today. I'm going to Ulta. I may go to Sephora. I may go to both. <laughs> you just never know about me. All right, I'm gonna spray. And remember, now I'm spraying the back, back there. And then we're going to let this set. And then I just take my bangs and kind of just place them over and do like that. And then those are setting too. They're not gonna be going anywhere. Um, this is a really light hairspray. So if you have baby fine hair, it is the perfect hairspray for you. It's, it's touchable, it's not sticky. You can still run your fingers through it, okay? So it's not like you're gonna have like stiff hair. I, I can't do that either. I don't like that either. So anyway, I'm gonna let this, ha these. I do let these sit. I've already got my makeup on. So typically what I do is I put these in and then I do my makeup, okay? So they do stay a little while, maybe 30 minutes, just, you know, me teeter-tottering around and doing whatever I'm doing around the house. And then when I take them down, um, well, I won't take them down. We're gonna use that new curling iron. Y'all, this thing is fabulous. And uh, I will link the girl's um, video below that's here on YouTube. She just it blew my mind when I watched it. And then I have tried it this week. Love it. And so I'm going to show you what I do to get this stick straight hair curly. All right. Are you ready to see this product? I got to come down a little more. <laughs> Can't see with my rollers in. This is the box that it comes in. It's called Airflow. It's by Timo. I guess that's how you say it. And it's a two-in-one. Two-in-one meaning that you can curl your hair uh, with heat. And then it also adds cool at the same time. Like, simultaneously it does it okay you don't have to like do a cool shot like i did with my hair dryer you don't have to do that and also when what comes with it you have um it's this is a nice bag right here this is velvet and it's really soft but it's a bag that you can carry it with you when you travel you also get two of these clippers clips you know to pull your hair up because you want to start at the bottom and work your way up and then of course it has a instructions booklet it also has one glove like Michael Jackson. You know, he wore one glove and you can wear this glove. I know when I thought, I thought, why one glove? Would it work? But it works either way. I put it on my right and I put it on my left. So if you're right-handed or left-handed, it doesn't matter. This will work for you. It has a little Velcro tie right there. Now, this is the actual product. This is it, girl. I got it plugged in already. So that means the power is to it, okay? There's two buttons down here. One is for the air. And one is to turn it on. The bottom one here is to turn it on. See, now it's on. So I'm getting ready to do this and use this. Now, this part right up here, the little top one right here, that's the cool. So let's turn it on so you can hear it. You hear it? You can also feel it, the cooling. Okay, so I'm gonna turn that part off right this second. Because what I've got to do is get my hair ready. So I'm going to leave my curlers in, but I'm going to take my hair around. Well, I got to take these curlers out in the back. Sorry, got to take those out. Because what I'm going to do is use one of these clips. I tried to use these clips the other day. I'm going to try to use them again. My hair is kind of, it's so baby fine. But sometimes it just doesn't hold it well. <laughs> the actual thing is heavier than my hair. So I'm just going to take a section and leave this section down here, down. It's, and then all the way around, see, I've got it. And then I'm gonna take and kind of twist this around and I'm gonna put the little clip in it, in the back. So this will help you as you're trying to do your hair, okay? 
Now see, I've got it up in the back. Now I'm gonna turn on the cool again. There we go. And I'm gonna start, I'm gonna start on this side, okay? Because this side you can see better. And you're gonna do this like all the way around your hair. You don't really have to think about what to do. Now, what, one thing that she did do, she took it and she did like this all the way down. Now, I haven't tried that yet. I've just gone and done the little curls, but let me see what that will do. Let me just practice it. She did like that. So see, you could kind of wave it just a little bit if you did not want this to be curly at the bottom. Hmm, that's interesting. Let's see what this one does. Here, here, here. Oh, so it does put a little wave in it. Look at that. Hmm. So the, that might give you a good base. So let's let's try it. Why not? Otherwise, you could do it a different way. I'm just going to do the back like that. <laughs> Child and error, girl. I'm still learning, but this has become my new best friend. And I did this the other night on my um, Facebook and everybody loved it and so a lot of them have already ordered it i'm sure and got it on the way i think lounge has one of these too i was told that they do oh i like that okay so i'm going to set it down and let's see what how it does with curling like actually curling so let's take this down and get some of my hair back all right so this is what i'm going to do i'm going to take here's some here's some hair here that needs some curling so I'm going to take this, we're going to put it here, well, let me move that thing out of the way. It's the only bad thing about those, but I have to have them. And you're just going to take it and turn it really slowly, and you're going to get these fabulous little curls. <laughs> I do that every time, I'm sorry. I get real excited over this, I do, and only because my hair doesn't curl and it doesn't hold a curl. It sticks straight. Look. So get up here, and then all you got to do is just turn it. Just like that. Look at that. It is amazing. And you can get your hair done really quickly, okay? You can. You can get your hair done really quickly with this. I don't have a whole lot of hair. Now, if you got a lot of hair, it might take you a little longer. But look at that. That is so amazing to me. Now, here's another piece down here I need to do. Well, I don't know. That was that wavy stuff, wasn't it? Okay. Let me find a piece. Oh, here's some back here. Yes, I have hair in the back of my head. <laughs> and I'm just going to turn it. It's like that. Can you see? Look at that. Isn't that cool? So cool. I don't know whether. I'm going to leave the bottom like that. And I'm going to do the, the waves up here. I think I like that. Okay. So I'm going to take it over here and let's do a little bit on this side so you can see how easy it is to do it. And I just kind of push it through. It's like my hair is in a lot of layers. And so when you're using something like this, try to get as close as you can to the scalp. And not all the way. Look at that. Oh my goodness. My hair needed this. I needed this. I never, never can get my hair to curl, ever, and stay all day. And you know what? It stays all day with this. Okay, so I'm going to go around and finish my hair with all the curls, and then we'll take a look at it, and then we'll fluff it all out. Girl, you need this. You need this. Look at that. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm almost done. So I wanted to show you how I did the top part. I'm just taking it and I'm just turning it here, doing it really slow. And it just gives me these cute little curls. I'll tell you what, I have never, and look, I'm not burning myself either. I, that's what I love about this. There, I'm not burning myself. Every time I ever use like a regular um, curling iron, I always burn myself. I don't know about you, but I do. All right, let's do this little piece here. That is the easy, I swear I love this thing. I do. Now, here at top, I started doing my bangs a little bit. So, um, that I'm kind of still working on, figuring out how I really like my bangs to be. I really don't want them to be um, real, real curly. I do like them to be a little flat, 
So just a little bit of curl is all I need right there. Let me take this out because I got to do the top of my head. <laughs> Yay! It looks crazy right now, but wait. It's going to be so cute. Let's do the top. Let's see what it does. Oh, girl. Oh, girl. What's it going to do? Oh, look at that. Look at that little curl up there. Goodness. Let me come back so you can see. All right, so let me grab this part here. And we're going to do it too. And I'm just going to kind of pull it out so it kind of can go this way. Because remember now, I can always come back the other direction and get this to work. All right, so I'm going to turn this off real quick. Let's turn it off. Okay. Ta-da. It's off. It's still plugged in because it's blinking, okay? So I'm going to set that down. The cool thing about it is I didn't burn myself. All right, so what I do typically before I start messing with it, I'll just go around my head like that with a little bit of hairspray. And I probably need to look at the back of it because I'm not in the bathroom where I can see what the back looks like. But I will fix the back and then I'll do a total turnaround so that you can see what it looks like. Now, if I wanted to, I could come back down here and kind of curl this a little bit more, which I probably will, like right in here. Because um, there's some places I probably didn't hit. But look at that. Now, I'm going to take my fingers. And this is what I do. I do not pick through it. I use my fingers. Your fingers are your best tool to kind of fluff it out. You do like this. And then take your fingers at the top. Because it's supposed to be messy. I like mine messy. Let me move back. Oh my gosh. I've just never had curled so easy in my life. Or waves. I really don't want to. I, sometimes I just like waves. I like just a little bit of wave to it. I need my pick, wherever that is. Here it is. This is where your pick comes in. When you really want to place hairs where you want them, get your pick and just kind of go through it. It's not really picking it all out, you know, the curl itself, but you're just kind of fluffing it with it. Close your eyes and pretend you can see the back of your head. <laughs> yes! And if you need to come back and add a little more curl somewhere, then do it. Um, I'm thinking I might, I don't know if I want a little curl there or not. What do y'all think? Should I do a little curl right there? This one looks like it needs some help right here, don't it? That's where I did the wave thing. Um, because I was afraid it might get too short if I did it there, but I could definitely do it there. I think I could, I could use a little bit of curl. I don't know. That looks pretty good though. Let's do this. The first thing I'm going to do is just spray it a little bit. And then you can scrunch it. That always helps too. Especially if you've got baby fine hair, you can scrunch it up and you'll get some little curls all by itself. Just like that. Scrunch it away, girl. Because these don't have to be perfect. Look at that. <gasps> all right, I'm going to finish this up and I'm going to get it all fixed. And then we're going to do the turnaround. Oh, girl, you look at that. I look like I got a lot of hair. Oh, I love this tool. I really do. Oh my goodness. I just love this. Absolutely. <laughs> I can't get over it. It is just so, wow. And it's touchable. I just love it. Absolutely love it. This has been the best $99 I've ever spent in my life. And I have tried this and the humidity of Alabama and it has held up. I've done it this week and everybody's like, your hair is just staying. I said, I know, I can't believe it. But it's the way this technology is. It's amazing. This is an amazing product. I absolutely love it. And this is not, I'm not paid for this or anything. All I did was see a video, ordered it, tried it. I've tried it all week. And let me just say, it has been fabulous. I have enjoyed it. Now I'm going to do some priming mist, Unique's priming mist over my face. Because if you need that here in the state of Alabama, let me just say, it will set your face. <laughs> and then I have my priming set on. I have this. This is wonderful. If you live in humidity, this is probably the best thing you'll ever use on your face. That's what you see I set with 
This is a setting powder, but it's really cool. It's the technology behind this is incredible. It's, it gets up here. It goes onto your face with a brush and it's kind of wet and it sets and everything is touchable. It's amazing too. So humidity is, is the killer of all your hair, your makeup, all that kind of stuff here in the South. So, oh my gosh, thanks for hanging out with me this week. I appreciate it so much. I can't keep stop looking at my hair. I don't, it's never looked this good. <laughs> I'm just going to sleep with this thing. Yes, I am. I love it. I absolutely love it. And I think you will too. And so if you do get it, please come back and comment on here that you, um, tried it and, and what it did for your hair. It's great for all hair types from what I can understand. So please like and share and click that notification bell and come back here on Sundays. I'm always trying to bring you things of value for sure. I'll be 60 in September. I cannot believe that. 60. Word. I was just 20 yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> If you believe that, you believe anything <laughs> for sure. All right, guys, thank you so much. And I will see y'all next Sunday.